this is bat rigger here and this is a football game that has a lot of problems but it shows high potential and it's in its problems mainly come from um, two things that are uh, zero effect said lack of true weight and lack of technique and the football game is actually great for this scenario whatever but um, after the patch you know it don't really work like this and it's me running against a dime defense and this is what it's great for since it's like this see here he just just demolished him off the line and it has like man before the patch it had like great real great interactions and just like one right here my, my this linebacker just just demolished my lineman which is weaker than him because I created a team and well you know he helped me out on the spin move on that I would have got tackled and I cut up under him and this game has great physics just like that and great interaction but as far as in some areas I will so it lacks techniques as far as in the past and that stuff but hey uh, here's a good example of showing of uh, the lack of technique and the lack of weight let's uh, see here you see some you know some blocking right there and coming right here whoa nobody no nah, nobody just throw nobody like that he was passing him, and he tried to come back and block him, and he ended up, like, throwing him out of the way. And that's, like, uh, one thing, lack of weight, whatever. You know? Cause nobody just, like, really throwing nobody like that in real life. And I'm realistic. And continue on with the play. Um, Y'all may see this and be like, oh, that's a pretty good pass whatever but they could have been defended like what he could have done instead of trying to you know cut up under him he was like in a good area all he had to do was trail him and if he had like an animation of like you no know, animation or that or interaction with the receiver so he can like you no know, ride him and stick his inside or inside arm out towards the ball Cause it looked like super open, you know. It was a good pass, or whatever, but you know it could have been defended by number forty-six. And that's the area of lack of technique. Oh, uh, here you go another example of lack of technique and weight to the point where somebody has like true resistance, or whatever, a no good blocking by the line. And here we go. He trailed him perfect. And when it comes to this, like, whoa, what just happened? Like, they be there for the play. And he just, he had him perfect. All he had to do was, like, trail him, like I said. And use his inside arm to swat the ball away. You know, whatever. And this is another part of lack of weight. Because uh, without true weight, this number 12 here don't have no resistance. So that means like when uh, they get knocked out or whatever, that's when they say they fall lifeless, like uh, versus say. And sometimes they, they look crazy sometimes. One of the reasons why the pass game look horrible. And actually, because they, they be there for the players, whatever, to make plays, and it look great. But when it comes to this, lack of technique, Lack of weight. There's another example number two. Go another area of lack of technique as far as in the defense and coverages. And this little thing I made a video about the coverages or whatever. But this thing right here, man, it one reason why offense sometimes seems too easy when it's not supposed to be easy. Alright, I'm just gonna let it play out, then I'm gonna break it down. 
All right, cover three. I can see something like that. Oh wow! Turns his back. And my receiver had full priority of the ball. That's not good. Well, let me first of all start off right here. First of all, as a receiver, you're on the weak side, and you're the only one over there. Even though I know he's playing in cover three, but he ain't supposed to just run straight back to his drop right there. He's supposed to, like, kind of slow play it, whatever. Slowly drop back. Because if I was to hit that slant right there or just do a quick out right there, you know, that would have been, like, an easy pass right there because of lack of coverage. Or if dude's going to go to the flat, whatever. Look at that, all that open space, man. All this open space, man. Just because he dropped way back there. Which is one thing they need to fit as far as in technique. And number two, for a situation like this, I don't even know why he ran back. He should have, like, you know, backpedaled his way, whatever, to a front of my receiver. And it should have stuck. Like I said, keep bringing this up. It's inside arm. Or he, or he could have just jumped up with him for a jump ball. Because no cornerback should ever try to get the ball at the lowest point. The cornerback should always try to get the ball at the highest point. And, and that's lack of technique. 